here is the UVGA GTX 980 Ti hybrid water cooled card. Picked this up on eBay for, for a good deal. I was curious about these. They tend to go for about 125 ish. 100 to 150 is the range, but 125 is kind of the average. It has this gold kind of thing here, but otherwise looks like a reference design. I got this one for 50, 60 shipped, I believe the tax said the pump was not working. And I thought, well, if the card works, we can possibly fix the pump or even convert it to air and have a decent card. But I received this card and what was not mentioned in the ad was that this person took every attempt to take it apart. So all the screws were out of the shroud. So here's the shroud. There was only one left in there. So they took the shroud off, then took the cover off of here. All the screws are missing from the motor. Um, this was still mounted when I checked it, so I, I removed this myself. I just wanted to run it before I did any checking. And you could hear the motor buzz, but I'm not sure if it's actually spinning. And it would immediately go to 80 plus degrees Celsius, just an idle. So it's clear that the motor's probably not spinning. I can hear coolant in the tubes. So there is coolant in there. Not sure if some leaked out. So here is the cold plate removed. The, uh, the thermal paste is kind of terrible. But normally you would just change this first. I'm not positive that that's the problem. I mean, it is really hard. But I think even in this condition, it wouldn't go immediately to 80, just at idle. It might run hot. Uh, the other card I worked on was running at 78 or something that I changed. Oh, it was the, uh, the 1060 SSC was running kind of hot. And then I took off the, the heat sink and the pace was like this. And then I changed it and it went down by 10 degrees. But this one just shoots right to 80. I didn't even, I barely could make it into the, uh, the testing software to even see the temperature before it started ramping up. So clearly there's a problem. And uh, we've seen in other videos where the pump will get stuck. There's probably debris in here. And so it doesn't spin, and so that's why you get immediate temperature. Problem is, whoever this ding dong is that tried to take this apart stripped out all the screws to the cold plate. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do there. I'm gonna take off the bracket and see if I can get to the back. I might just, worst case scenario, take the tubes off and blow through and see if I can get some debris out and also measure how much coolant is actually in there. So let's do that and we'll be right back. So here's the pump removed. I was expecting to see some clogging here. That part looks fine. Not sure what this is. Some sort of filter maybe. But Out of the entirety of the water pump, this is the total amount of fluid, so I'm guessing it was low coolant and not a failed pump. So I guess we'll try to put fluid in there and see if it works better with the new thermal paste. I'm curious where the fluid would go. Oh wait, here's a... Oh, there is, there's some corrosion right there. 
Hey, Gross. I wonder if the uh, the radiator is cloth. Probably. See, and then there's these little corrosion parts right here. I wonder if it was leaking at all at one point. But there's no more fluid in there. So let's try and fill it up and run it again. So I might have found a problem here. This, um, when I took this apart, there were some screws holding the casing together underneath this bracket and then there were other screws holding down the bracket but I think I was just watching the other teardown video these were all supposed to go through the top so what it seems like is somebody took it apart probably due to the thermal paste issue put it back together but incorrectly and then with the with the screws being under the bracket, probably this was not making contact with the GPU. And uh, the coolant was kind of low, but it should have still worked. So that's actually the most common problem you see is uh, poor contact with the, the GPU. So now, unfortunately, some of the screws are missing, but I'm gonna try and remount it with now it has full or almost full water and coolant just for testing. I'm gonna drain it again and put better stuff in there. The uh, the one that was in there was pretty dirty. I expect that the radiator is still somewhat clogged, but um, we'll just put it back together for a test. Now that this will make contact, we should at least get somewhat normal temperatures and then um, also, I tested the pump. The pump does work. So at least if we can get in the normal range, then we can go ahead and find all these parts that are missing, including the cap. So we'll be right back. So here we are, first test, and look at that temperature. Idle at 34. So it was pretty sure it was poor contact and uh, a host of other things. The low coolant, poor contact, poor mounting, poor thermal paste, whatever. You didn't see it before, but this immediately went to 83 when I first tried it. Um, you can hear it's loud now, so I'm not sure if the pump, I think there's air in it. A lot of the water leaked out when I was trying to put it together, and there's probably a bunch of air bubbles. But um, once I do some basic testing, I'm going to Drain it all out again, check the thermal paste, and then fill it up correctly. But the air is actually kind of getting less and less now. Yeah. So it's just air in the system. All right, let's do some benchmarks.